This may be the strangest success secret you have ever heard in your life. Hi, my name is Sharon Love and I discovered this secret after over 25 years of research into the psychological secrets of the world's greatest leaders. And what I discovered, this one secret, helped me to overcome the near mute shyness I had suffered from since my teens. It helped me to go on to give live presentations to thousands of people in Spanish, French, and English. It helped me to also inspire over two million people in just over two weeks online. And then it also helped me to raise over six million dollars with one single presentation. So how do you win in your life? How do you win in your career? How do you win in times of change? How do you win when times get tough? You win with your heart. There is gold in your heart, more valuable than all the treasures of King Tut's tomb. And maybe when times are tough or times are changing, you may find that you look and that your brilliance has been buried and you look at your life and it looks like desert. It looks like there is nothing there. That's what they said in 1920. Carter and his team had been searching for years in the Valley of the King in the desert and they had found nothing. And people left and said, don't you know King Tut's tomb? That's an old wives tale. But wise people like Howard Carter knew that old wives can often be very, very wise. And finally, he had so much failure and he had been searching for so long that even his funder, Lord Carnarvon, said, I'm pulling the funding. There's nothing there. You've found nothing. It's probably an old wives tale. So Howard Carter went back to England and begged him, please, to give one more chance, just one more chance to find this. Lord Carnarvon finally agreed. He went back to Egypt and soon after that, one person changed it all. Was it Lord Carnarvon? No. Was it Howard Carter? No. Was it one of the managers or one of the supervisors? No. There was one person who was in what I call the win with your heart zone. There is one person who was in that zone where you become unstoppable. He was one person that was in that place where when your mind, body, and spirit are aligned in this place, nothing can stop you. And it was the young water boy. The young water boy was playing with a stick in the sand when all of a sudden he hit something, something hard. Quickly, he crouched down, brushed away the sand. There was a step. He covered it up very quickly, left the stick, and went running as fast as he possibly could across the desert sand to find his supervisor, his supervisor, and he ran to find Howard Carter. And once Howard Carter came back, they started to dig. And when they dug, they found another step. No one had seen the tomb of King Tut in over three thousand years. They quickly dug down another step, another, another. There were 16 steps in total and they led to a door covered in hieroglyphs. Quickly they buried it all again to make sure that nobody else would find this. And Carter ran off to send a telegram to Lord Carnarvon. Lord Carnarvon arrived and they made a hole in the door and Carter got a candle and put it inside for the first time in 3,000 years. Behind him, Carnarvon said, can you see anything? And Howard Carter said, yes. 
wonderful things. Everywhere was the glint of gold. It was the most powerful, most significant archaeological find in history discovered by the water boy who was in that win with your heart zone. When you are in that zone, there's a six second technique I would love to share with you to get you into that zone. When you are in that zone, you can speak, inspire, thrive. You can live your dreams and change lives. When you are in the win with your heart zone, you can change the world. And when you win with your heart, everyone wins. I would love to share the six second technique with you. Simply click below. Thanks. You make a difference. You can win with your heart.